Eight local leaders held a discussion in Rochester today on lead poisoning in our community and the commitment to eliminating it. According to Governor Kathy Hochul, Rochester is leading the state when it comes to inspections and mitigating the problem. Christian Garzone is here to help break down what they had to say. Christian. Adam, Governor Kathy Hochul wants to know why in 2023 we're still talking about lead paint, but she did say it's still a very real issue. Lead paint, she says, doesn't uh, go away decades later when you paint over it. She said lead can have consequences that can impact someone's physical and mental development. She even linked lead to people getting caught up in the criminal justice system. She also says there is, this is no one's fault other than they lived in a home with exposure. She said in Buffalo there have been multiple people who have died due to lead poisoning, but she's putting a spotlight on Rochester for progress in eliminating this problem. Mayor Evans said the Rochester model will work in many cities across the state. In the city, they've inspected close to 150,000 structures and 219,000 dwelling units. Many of these places are now lead free. Hochul said in 2005 there were 3,500 cases of lead poisoning in Rochester. In 2021, there were about 530. She calls Rochester a, quote, shining star when it comes to fixing this problem. And since that law was enacted, 85% drop in the number of children testing positive for lead poisoning. 85% drop. Do you know how many more children are now liberated from the shackles that would have been there had they been exposed and all the ill effects I just described? Do you know how many children will have none of these strikes against them? Because the city government made a decision to do something that was responsible. Rochester was named the city 10 or 12 years ago. And, that's, and that future city could be where Rochester is now as it relates to lead poisoning. Yes, we have our challenges in our city, but we also must make sure that we highlight the chances, the chances that we get when we can show the opportunities that we have. Now, Hogel said the state is planning on helping with the cost of eliminating lead. She called this an investment for New York. Adam, right back to you. Christian, thank you for that report. Hochul plans on using the Rochester model for local city governments to inspect for lead across the state.